this video I'm going to be giving you a tour of Uwaterwa's residence annex. I'm assuming if you clicked on this video you will either be living here or you're interested in living here. So I'm going to give you a basic tour of the building, my room and a couple of other rooms so that you have an idea of the sizes as well as the common areas within the apartment and in the building itself. The facilities the building has and some surrounding stuff like restaurants and you know whatever's around the residence so i'm gonna start going inside out meaning i'll start in my room and then go out into the common areas of the apartment and then etc so i'll be telling you about a couple of things like the location the sizes of the rooms and apartment how safe it is what the rooms come with as well as prices depending on how many rooms there are inside the unit and a few plugs that other residences don't have. Right now you have a basic view of my room. It's one of the bigger ones and this apartment has four bedrooms. I'm in bedroom C. As soon as you walk in you can see the wardrobe, my bed, the desk and the bedside table. This is basically what it looks like and to the left I have my washroom. Everyone has their own washroom so you don't have to share it with anyone. The bathroom comes with a shower curtain. I don't think you need to buy one unless you really want to do that. I have been here for a month. I don't know if I'm gonna be buying one. This is the shower and what it looks like down here we have the toilet and i keep my broom in here as well there's also a cabinet down here where i keep um quite a few things i have my tissues face masks my like little cloth that i use to clean my bathroom this room is quite spacious i could fit another double bed in the space that i'm sitting in i'm going to show you a few other rooms so that you can have an idea of what size your room might be and so that you know that your room won't be the size because i've seen much smaller ones as well as well as bigger ones that look like apartments in themselves the room comes with a double bed and the mattress it comes with the desk the chair that i'm sitting on right now the little bedside table the wardrobe this is the closet. There is quite a bit of space, but I also have a lot of clothing. I didn't come here with all of these clothes. I just ended up buying them throughout the year. There's an outlet behind the bed, but I would say bring your own extension cord because unless your cables are very long, you won't be able to get it around your bed. As for storage space, the room is big, but there isn't much storage space. The wardrobe is a good size depending on how much clothing you have. When I came here in September, I only had my one suitcase and a carry-on, but as time goes on, you buy more things. Now my wardrobe is full and if I buy more clothing, I'm not gonna have a place to put it. You can see my little mess underneath there because as much as this room is big it doesn't have as much storage space which is something i would like the mattresses are okay it's not going to be the mattress that you have at home where you feel like you're sleeping on a cloud you will probably have backaches a week into sleeping on the bed so i would say bring a mattress topper this is the mattress that the room comes with and this is her mattress topper it's like it's it's proper let me know if you want me to do a video telling you what to bring to rest or not because there's a lot of things that you could bring that would be unnecessary and would just take up a whole bunch of space in your room that you actually need so my name is christina this is my room this side just has a bunch of places that i've been it's mostly just canada and i also went to Europe, but I only got um, postcards from like France and stuff. So that's on this side. Then we have this one over here with a few of my favorite shows and TV shows and movies and stuff. And then this is Monica Rambeau from WandaVision. It should so watch it. Oh my gosh. When I saw her, I was like, I literally want to be. I'm Jamaican, so Bob Marley is definitely imperative to have here. Also, Check out these skates. Yeah, guys, if you live in Ottawa and you roller skate, please, please let me know because I need to find other people. They're gonna slide into your DMs. I'll put her um, IG on the screen. Hello, my name is Bob Chef. I'm an international from Senegal, as you can see with the flag. And I study biomedical sciences in the University of Ottawa. And this is my room. Any university residence is gonna be expensive. This is no different. But compared to all of the other ones that you Ottawa has, this is worth the money because it's a lot of space you get your own washroom it's very modern as well everything in here is pretty new the building itself is quite new it's five minutes away from the university it's 10 minutes away from the mall and byward which is like a busy area you know pricing wise Depending on the number of rooms the apartment has, it'll either be more or less expensive. So if it only has two bedrooms, it'll be more expensive. And if it has five, which is the max, it is gonna be more expensive. They have between one and five bedrooms. Because of the fact that no one is sharing a washroom, having living in a five bedroom one wouldn't be that difficult. The only thing that would be a little bit um, challenging would, would be the storage space in the kitchen because it doesn't have that much space. There is space, but like, 
you know it's, it's not a lot honestly the kitchen comes with a microwave oven stove and fridge everything is pretty new um they are quite modern the microwave is huge the oven you know everything still works well i used to live in another residence and our kitchen space was like a lot there was there was enough for more people we were four in that unit and there was enough space for like two more people to come and put their stuff in the kitchen you know that's how that's how much cabinet space there was but here it's a lot less and it's like much smaller but also but that's also because the common area itself is a little bit small i would say considering the fact that you're not going to be spending most of your time sitting in the kitchen or in the living room you're probably going to be in your room like it's 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 fine you know what i mean don't bring too many things you would rather come with all of your necessities and everything you need and then add more if you need to instead of coming with too many things and then not having a place to put them the kitchen also comes with a dishwasher that i do not use but yeah the it has a dishwasher that goes to show how much stuff there is actually in this room and i guess when you look at the price it kind of compensates com compensates um but yeah only two Iwarwa residences are this modern annex and 45 man um and then the one i used to live in called hyman solway is getting renovated right now so i don't know how that's going to look by the end of summer it is turning into something else but the traditional buildings are traditional they look old because they are old um like everything still works but you can just tell that it's been in existence for a while how do you like living in annex Pep? um annex is really nice honestly it's I think the best residence because it's the one of the nicest, actually the nicest. And the only problem is that for first year, if you have the dining hall, it's kind of far. But if you're cooking, because we have a full, a full kitchen, other than that, like annex is the best residence in my opinion. Which other ones have you been to? I've been to pretty much all the residences, and yeah, the nicest ones are ninety U and annex. So moving on to some of the things that don't really have to do with the apartment but rather the building itself. There are a lot of perks when it comes to living here. Besides all of the modern appliances in the kitchen and how spacious the rooms are, there is also a gym right downstairs. It's also cheaper for annex residents. So if you're into the gym, you have a gym right downstairs. Uarua also has gyms, so if you don't want to pay the extra anytime fitness gym, you pay for the like Uarua gyms in your tuition, so you can just use that as well. But if you want something that's right where you are there's any time downstairs there's two vending machines in the lobby my previous residence did not have vending machines only god knows why this residence has three elevators which three elevators you you're thinking i'm telling you about an elevator it doesn't really matter it does because when you're trying to go somewhere you won't have to wait 50 years in my previous residence the other elevator like the two elevators would just i don't know decide to go out of service out of nowhere so you catch yourself waiting for the elevator for like I don't know a really long time but that building only went up to the fifth floor this one i believe goes up to the 10th 11th i don't know there's a lot of floors here so it makes sense why there's three elevators but there's also underground parking here i forgot to mention that there are two common rooms on the second floor you can go in there study with your friends study alone it's open 24 7. there's one with just desks and stuff that you can use to study and there's another one that now has a ping pong table a tv there's a pac-man machine and the other one i have no idea what it is as for outside the building i told you there's an anytime fitness we have thai express next door there's a burger place there's subway on this same street this is on laurier and yeah so there's subway on the street there's a quick is it a quickie or a kmart or a convenience store on the street as well like three minute walk so that's nice there's a domino's around the corner like i said rito street is a 10 minute walk away you can eat whatever you want there's a Thames on cumberland which is i would say is also a 10 minute walk this residence i would say has the best location if you're going to be off campus i don't really consider it is off campus but I, I don't consider it off campus because it's literally five minutes away you can listen to two songs and be walking straight into campus i think that this area is safe but then again i'm angolan and i grew up in south africa so like my idea of safety might not be the same as yours if you're from somewhere with a higher level of safety then you're going to say that it's not safe here but for me safety wise this is like an 8 out of 10 if you mm, mm, 8 
maybe seven the most you'll see is just crackheads on like Rito Street and around that area but for the most part they just want change if you have you give it to them if you don't then you say that you don't and they leave you alone even though there was one time one of my friends basically got chased by one because I think she thought he was his dealer I don't know what happened there but yeah I think it's pretty safe as a woman I'm gonna say seven just because in general just women just we go through the most so if you're a girl it's safe enough for you to walk alone but if it's getting to like eight nine i wouldn't suggest doing that if you can walk with someone then rather do that than walk alone yorua also has foot patrol so if you don't feel safe enough to walk home alone you can go into the ucu building on campus and they have like they have the foot patrol place and they'll walk you wherever you need to go to be able to get into the building you need a key card so you use this at the door downstairs and you use it to get into your apartment as well you are allowed to have people over i think it's about two or three people per resident during covid they did not allow um visitors and when they started allowing visitors they only allowed um people who lived in Uarua residences but since they've started relaxing a lot of the covid regulations um you are allowed to have guests from anywhere it doesn't really matter all you have to do is just go get them downstairs with your key card and come back up if you're deciding between annex and 45 men i would say go for annex because the walk to campus one is shorter um and there's a lot of food surrounding you and you're gonna need the food so this is honestly the best because 45 man is on king edward and for you to go up into campus there's a hill and i say hill like it's the biggest hill it's not it's not a, it's not that bad but there's a hill every time you want to go on campus you're walking up the hill and then back down if you want to go to the cafeteria the cafeteria is at the on the upper end of campus so you're going to be leaving 45 men walking up the hill if you get a meal plan to go eat and then walking back down which in summer and fall is not that deep but in winter It's not worth it i think that's all i have to say about annex if i left anything out or if you want to know more feel free to leave a comment down below and i'll respond as best as i can i i've learned a lot about you over the year that i've been on campus um and i will share that knowledge but i do know other people so if i don't know i will ask them i can help you out if you want to know something and yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video and it was helpful subscribe if you want to see more your stuff i'm going to start posting stuff about um this because everything is going back on campus and i'm sure everyone is looking for information i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it was helpful subscribe and like it if it was and